Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Joining us by voice on Skype is James Bayless, uh, who has been, uh, I, I would say, an active community member. Uh, certainly, he was uh, producing things that you may have seen floating on my desktop, the wacky chris.perlo.com, or was it live.perlo.com with the bouncing Chris heads? He made that. It was kind of fun. I had it as a screensaver for a little while. Uh, I get this email from him about an hour or so ago with this picture attached, and I've got it pulled up almost pretty much full screen. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit. This is something that just happened to him. Uh, it's his MacBook. And uh, unfortunately, Pro. G uh, MacBook Pro, James right now is using Vista, and it's not recognizing his webcam. So <laughs> we at least got him by voice, although it's, it's a little stuttery for some reason or another. Well, it's Skype that's running on Vista. Um, so anyway, James, uh, could you tell us what's going on, what's happened, what's happening in, in the, the current plan as far as your laptop's concerned and how Apple's been reacting to this? Basically, I was sat on my desk, um, typing away, looking at dig on your stream. All of a sudden, I hear a bang. Next thing I know, my laptop is basically in flames. So while it's flames, it's sparking, it's smoking. I'm coughing to hell, and I'm trying to blow this laptop out. Next thing I know, the desk was partly on fire. I was trying to rub that out. Um, luckily, I managed to get it out by it out by in the rain, blowing it out by my mouth. Um, I got back in, managed to get everything all sorted rang Apple and they were like, oh my god. Um, I spoke to a very nice guy, the head of Apple Europe support, he was like, oh, we have a problem here, we might have to recall some laptops and laptops in about April of last year. He was like, oh, okay. So what they're doing now is they've taken down everything that's happened. There's about a total of 100 questions I had to answer on the phone to Apple saying what had happened. Um, and stuff like that, and they like said, oh, do we need to send someone out to check out the damage to your household? Have, did you need to bring the fire brigade? Did you need to open the windows? <laughs> and stuff like that. All the questions that you could possibly think of. Um, so now I have a broken MacBook sitting on my bed. Um, I can't get any of the data off it. They won't even allow me. They won't even allow me on because on because they think it may cause another fire. Uh, they strictly. I'm not allowed to touch it. That it, it's so dangerous apparently. Um, so it's on my bed with the battery removed and the power supply removed just sitting there nice nice and quietly waiting for it to be repaired so I what part for a new one. I, it's, it's difficult to get a perspective of this uh with the pictures at least that i that you've uploaded what part of the macbook is this it looked like it was part of a, a port but what part specifically well, I, i'm not really sure at all but i'm guessing it's either something to do with the processor or some other like chip underneath the macbook motherboard underneath like the casing as you can see, it's kind of exploded, and it's shot out a flame that, that was constant. And of course, it's melted the rubber bezel on the MacBook screen. Yeah, I can see that. So it would have been on on the back, because I see a screw. So it's definitely on the bottom, off the back. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I see. So it would be like underneath in here, that area. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. you were stuttering with your uh, um, description there. Sorry, Skype was a little hiccupy. Uh, you were basically saying that you okay. blew it out with your mouth, just puffing on yeah, it. Yeah, luckily. Wow. And did you have any information about like the model number revision, et cetera, or are you just kind of waiting now for Apple to pick it up and hopefully find out if it's an isolated incident or if there's going to be a massive recall on this one? Uh, I doubt it'd be a mouse of recall. I'm pretty sure it's probably an isolated case, just restricted to me. But it's, it's very strange that just suddenly my map because managed to go up in flames. To be honest, isn't it? Wow. So it was like a pop, you say? It was. It, yeah. It was, it was. It was a pop forward slash bang. I would say, um, kind of like when you burst a balloon. Yeah. It like that sound and loudness of it. What um, are you, luckily, I was in the room. What, what were you doing? Yeah, no doubt. What were, were you doing any kind of software, computations, anything, oh, processor intensive? I was, I was doing the basic stuff a student would do would be browsing the internet and checking Marina. Marina. But you weren't using it at the time. Whoa! <laughs> I, well, it was, it, it was, it was, I was using it and all of a sudden I started to smell smoke and I was like, oh my god. 
I picked this thing up and was, suddenly this this flame just started coming out of it and I was like crap. Wow. So do you have Apple Care? <laughs> I do, and unbelievably, it's actually under a year old. Wow. Oh. So they they're gonna take care of you then if you talk to the head of uh, Apple Europe support. Yep. So the, uh, you say they've they've been pretty cordial then. Uh, with uh, this experience, at least to this point, just happened, of course. Yeah, yeah, they were just totally like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened, we're so sorry. They were like, can we send someone around to check your hardware and your desk? Because they were like, is there any marks on your desk? Did you have to call the fire brigade? I was just like, there's a small mark on my desk, but you don't need to come around. They were so, like, we're sorry, we're sorry this has happened to you, and we don't want to, like, make a big fuss of it, but we just want to make sure that you're okay and that you're, everything is okay with you. Oh, for sure. Well, yeah, and that's I, I wouldn't have even known about it had you not you know sent that email. And then of course, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, we've got to we've got to tell everybody because you know this. As soon as someone's laptop catches fire, it seems everybody wants to talk about it. Well, instead of just talking about it, figure we just talk directly to you. It's too bad we couldn't get uh, a, a live video going with you though. Yeah, it's a shame. It's Beaster. I'm sorry. It's my father's laptop. So, well, at least we've got you by voice. So keep us surprised of the situation. Yes. Let us know how it goes with Apple. You know, expect to sure. hear how how that well, plays I'm, out. I'm expecting a call tomorrow from a per, from a person who's actually head of Apple Europe. So, so. Whoa, wow. Yeah, They're, that that's not a bad person to know, especially if something else goes wrong Whoa. at some point in the future. He's even giving me his email as well and his phone number. Oh, I'm sure all the PC people are just gonna have a heyday with this one. I'm not being rude, but someone like Toshiba would be like, "Oh, your laptop won't work." Oh, right, okay. I don't know. I've never. I've really had no experiences. I, certainly, nothing I've ever owned has ever caught fire, at least uh, unintentionally. I've wanted to set fire to certain things. I think the only thing I've ever burned in uh, my entire life was a, a a box of Windows Millennium Edition. That was the only thing I've ever like set on fire. I thought that felt good. It did. It was a little uh, cathartic, more than anything. So. I think I microwaved the nine, Windows 98 CD once. Oh, <laughs> nice! And the sparks just flew. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. yeah you know, take you know, take more pictures. You know, we'll have to link off to them and embed them in the uh, the blog post for it. But you're you're just oh. Bayless in the chat room and on Twitter. And the person who's responsible indirectly for pointing me to the person who's going to help me design the world's most ultimate WordPress theme. Trust yep. me, it's it's going to be cool. You're going to freak. Am I really? Yeah, trust me. Everyone who runs WordPress on their own will want this. It's not it's not just an average WordPress theme. When am I going to start running WordPress again in my blog? Trust it'll it'll give you a compelling argument. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, James. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.